Hi everybody, today I'm just going to film a quick update on the observation hive since it's been a while since I posted a video of it. We're going into the winter time now, it's fall here in Michigan. Um, the date is October 14th, so the queen is stopping laying here a little bit. Um, you can see this is all capped honey here. Um, this they're still capping, there's some brood hatching there. There's still a little bit of brood up here and Right over here is the queen. You can see all of her workers surrounding her and attendees. Um, you can see she's not laying right now, so it's a good thing. Hopefully she doesn't lay anymore um, so that they can fill some of this honey in. There are these frames in with honey. This frame here, there is uh, a lot of honey and some pollen in there. A um, little bit more brood here. Still some drone cells there although I don't really see any drones in this hive anymore maybe just a few here and there temperatures are getting down into 50 degree mark now um, sometimes the 40s um, and they're still up to the 70s here in Michigan so this bottom frame has honey in it as well not capped though yet Here's a little bit on the glass. You can see these cells have been uh, capped. And yes, the bee space is correct on this observation hive. You're always going to have some burr comb that is placed between these frames here because there's a little bit of a gap there that bees feel they need to fill in. The queen's moving around a little bit now. It's a little hard to see her. Right now, I am feeding them with sugar water just to get them all topped off for the winter time. There is quite a few bees in this hive, four frames. Um, they should only need two or three frames to get them through the winter successfully though. I've had pretty good luck with this hive overwintering. And uh, here's the sheet that I usually keep over the hive um, because it is directly next to this window. And when this window is open, they will start to put wax over the glass to cover it up because they do prefer to be in the dark. So there's the observation hive. I'll give it a spin around. We can take a look at the other side. Just want to be careful when you're spinning it to make sure you don't jostle it because this will make the bees move around a little bit more. Oh, here's the side. This is all capped up here in the corner. Still a little bit of brood in here that's capped and still emerging. This is all capped honey. Um, this is honey and pollen here in the corners. And a little bit of brood left here as well. That's got a hatch. And this bottom frame is all uncapped honey and a little pollen here and there. They're working on capping this area right now, filling in because some brood just hatched out of here earlier today, so. And here's a quick shot down the feeder. Let's see if there's any bees down here drinking any sugar water. Oh yeah. If they just come up underneath here and drink the sugar water out of the quart jar. And then bring it back here and store it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like these.